work and energy introduction living beings have to perform several basic activities to survive we call such activities life processes the energy for these processes comes from food we need energy for other activities like playing singing reading writing thinking jumping cycling and running activities that are strenuous require more energy scientific conception of work to understand the way we view work and define work from the point of view of science let us consider some situations a girl pulls a trolley bag and it moves through a distance the girl has exerted a force on the trolley bag and it is displaced therefore work is done lift a book through a height to do this you must apply a force the book rises up there is a force applied on the book and the book has moved hence work is done by constant force consider a situation in which the force and the displacement are in the same direction a baby pulling a toy car parallel to the ground as shown in the figure the baby has exerted a force in the direction of displacement of the car in this situation the work done will be equal to the product of the force and displacement in such situations the work done by the force is taken as positive let the object stop after the displacement s in such a situation the work done by the force f is taken as negative and denoted by the minus sign the work done by the force is f into minus s the whole or minus f into s the whole energy let us consider the following examples when a fast moving cricket ball hits a stationary wicket the wicket is thrown away we have also observed children winding a toy such as a toy car and when the toy is placed on the floor it starts moving an object having a capability to do work is said to possess energy the object which does the work loses energy and the object on which the work is done gains energy the energy possessed by an object is thus measured in terms of its capacity of doing work the unit of energy is joule j 1 j is the energy required to do 1 joule of work sometimes a larger unit of energy called kilojoule kj is used 1 kj equals 1000 j